हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ कंसेप्चुअल गपशप दिस इज अ शो वेर यू गेट टू नो योर बिलवर्ड कंसेप्चुअल फैकल्टी फ्रॉम अप क्लोज द फैकल्टी इन दिस शो शेयर विद यू नॉट ओनली अकेडमिक्स बट सम पर्सनल थिंग्स अबाउट द लाइफ सो टूडेज शो आई वेलकम डॉक्टर रविंदर डिमरी सर आर बिलवर्ड एफ आर सी एस फैकल्टी the faculty from uk and who has become one of the most endearing loved faculty at our conceptual orthopedics hello sir welcome to the show thank you thank you for your kind words <coughs> sir uh, aaj tak uh, humne aapko academics share karte hue dekha hai suna hai uh, but today we want you to share something about your personal life your journey as a orthopedic surgeon uh, we know that you hail from india you did your graduation in india only uh, just we want to know much more about your journey as a orthopedic surgeon okay <laughs> where to start uh, i come from a uh, very small village in uttarakhand so uh, at that time when i was born it was part of up but now it has become uttarakhand actually it is quite close to those people who been to uh, valley of flower badrinath or <coughs> uh, or there's a skiing resort there uh, oli yes sir so if you if you been there so i i come very very close to that place um uh, it was it was quite a rural background I mean, in fact quite rural than uh, normal village area uh, to the extent that you know, we hardly used to have money uh, when i was very young everything was uh, kind of a barter which mean aap aapko chini chahiye to aap gehun leke jate the apne khet se exchange karne ke liye and uh, uh, the fire used to be a, you know, a, a, a thing nobody will uh, spend their uh, match box because that used to be a very uh, a, a treasure thing ki matches khatam nahi hone chahiye so we used to borrow fire from villages because they will have uh, burning fire so we will bring some burning coal and just light our fire uh, so that kind of a uh, background Uh, but it was um, lovely with the clean air and river flowing and our school was um, if if i go back there uh, i took my son there uh, it's a it's a different experience you 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 sit by river uh, and the teacher is uh, teaching some students are on the trees so it's a, <laughs> it's, a, it, it, it's, a it's it's a different school than you as you uh, actually my sister is still teaching there in that uh, and the same school where i uh, got so that's where i started uh, and i came uh, year 6 uh, uh, to delhi and uh, that's the first time i started writing abc with char lino wali wo thi thi abc likhne ke liye that's where and the first letter of um, alphabet of english in my year 6 i must be 11 year old uh, and uh, <clears throat> the good thing was i came to a school which was uh, my father was a uh, teacher there which i thought will be a good, good advantage but uh, at that time in india if you are teacher son you are expected to know everything and do nothing naughty so i was the uh, most punished children because they will say ki agar you know my father was used to call shastri ji and shastri ji ke bete ko nahi aata tha and they will boast to my father that aaj uski pitai kari humne because that's what i was expected uh, to know everything uh, and uh, not expected to do anything so that was my uh, schooling it was a government school uh, and around that time uh, when we came to uh, mulana jad i'm talking about uh, 78 Uh, when i joined it still a proportion of people from uh, government school versus public school was about 50 50 uh, it was not um, which has become now that 
uh, you will hardly get any people from uh, state or government school. So uh, it, it was a good mix uh, in, uh, in, in Malanjad Medical College. And then, so uh, come to Malanjad Medical College. <laughs> Ah, no, Malanjad no, Medical College. When, when, uh, so, how so come you came to medicine, sir? Aapne, uh, medicine, was there any thought behind that? Was there any inspiration? Why did you choose medicine as a profession? I, 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 I just sincerely that, don't, don't think any thought. It was just that if you do well, you, there were three streams. Uh, and the two streams were available after your uh, pre-medical uh, uh, time pe pre-medical karna ho, ek saal ka, after uh, higher secondary ke baad. Uh, so uh, uh, and one stream of bureaucracy was available after graduation so uh, at uh, uh, pre-medical level if you get into engineering and medical you you're done so i don't think i had anything uh, like serving people or anything just uh, want to do good you know, was okay in studies and got into it so it was kind of a natural flow uh, uh, and i just came into malaja okay. great sir something about your journey ahead in so at malaja medical college it's a, it's a great college uh, i have anybody i speak to uh, wherever in america uh, it has done a lot of things uh, good to people <clears throat> and everybody has very fond memories of it a Probably it's A's. Everybody who is in college A's remember their college very fondly. So all of you will remember it fondly. So what happened in college, uh, especially in Malanjad Medical College, uh, in till class 11th or 12th, you want to impress your family and relatives and everybody to top the class. As soon as you come to medical college, suddenly the priority changes. You don't want to be seen as uh, going to every class and topping. That is, uh, you want to be cool guy. So everybody <laughs> want to be a cool guy. What? Who is a cool guy? By thodi bhot partyan karta hai. You go movies. You bunk classes. You you are very uh, popular in your uh, college festival cultural things. So suddenly the priority of your ideal, who you idealize, it changes. It's not, it's not that top of everybody wants to be cool. But in this cool, I must say one or two of friends lost because they became only cool and lost the academic of it. So the, the, the coolest people are who are not showing off much academic. Actually, they they in, in college it's become reverse. Everybody say Mado Partaini. <laughs> Although all of us come from uh, very hardworking and uh, reasonably stable, uh, intelligent people. So we all want to, we, we all know we have to do well in medical college. That, but you want to keep that back of mind, not showing off. You want to show other things. I music interested in music, theater. So that, that was Mulanjad. Mulanjad showed us that you need to uh, you need to do something else also and i'm sure on any other medical college or any other college will have that thing cool rana was praku tota so uh, that was there unfortunately for me um, uh, i came from uh, garwal so uh, there were few things in which i still struggle we struggle to pronounce few words so we logon mein shaw aur saw mein difference karna bada mushkil hota hai so we we easily confuse uh, shaw and saw and and we 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 interchange them similarly uh, i i may not even saying it right now zoos z j these all become very uh, for us become same in fact till uh, till now when i take a, uh, whenever i go to a big lecture my first slide is that s h s uh, J, Z, G, these are all same for me. So if, you, if you're listening to me, you have to interpret what I'm saying. Don't go what I'm, uh, you're listening to. So, uh, uh, and I had a reasonably, I think, a good sense of humor. So Sir, because, we, of, uh, because of this, I was early on uh, given a chance to do a, uh, selected in a play, uh, in college play. 
because the play involved somebody, probably a Nepali or maybe a Gadwali who can't say Shah and so. So I was very natural part for that. So, but it opened a door for me to uh, have an interest other than medicine. So I started uh, uh, seeing more plays. There was a national school of drama there. They had, they had a very nice repertory company. So we used to go there, uh, I, uh, uh, enjoying plays. You know, I start writing few uh, things myself, even uh, anything, movies. I started uh, seeing movies from different angles. Uh, uh, any movie, like uh, one of the, my favorite movies, Vicky Donner. So uh, the base, basic message uh, I, I gather you want to give of a uh, sperm donation problem or infertility problem in India, but how to make that entertaining? Similarly, uh, monsoon wedding. The, the, he picked up a very nice topic to hammer on about pedoph pedophilia, but how to make it very entertaining. And that has probably, that skill itself is a very good because it helped. I want to teach, but I want to make it interesting. I want to make it simplified. So that has, so all these things, uh, this is actually my message to all of you is to develop interest other than medicine or orthopedics. Unfortunately, uh, in India, I, I'm, I was told by somebody, actually, it will be changed. Uh, we get into medicine very quickly. Uh, and some of us have no clue about the other aspects of life, music, theater, philosophy, books, a lot of things to enjoy. And I can tell you, you all are going to be uh, orthopedic surgeon. Your basic needs of requirement of money, uh, and I don't mean basic, that include reasonable luxury, will be all met. All of you will be reasonably uh, rich enough to enjoy the, uh, the the minimum luxury required. There's no end to uh, richness, but you will enjoy. After after some amount of money, actually, the pleasure it gives is, the quantum of pleasure it gives is very small. It gives a big quantum in the beginning, but after some time become quite small. So what, what make you happy after that are the other interest. If you have interest in music, not necessarily good singer, knowing the music, a little bit appreciating. Like I have no clue about uh, uh, art, painting. Um, I go and uh, uh, people appreciate painting. I have no clue what, what this painting is so expensive and this is not so expensive. And they look similar to me. So uh, I, I think I lost some somewhere their sports. I regret I've not been, uh, I'm not a good sports person. Uh, I regret I've never uh, uh, learned some music, uh, but I appreciate and really uh, thankful that I've, uh, I got into reading a uh, few literature and, and, and appreciating movie and theater. So my message is that you all will enjoy life, but what will make you more and more happy after a certain time, once you have got the money, is your extracurricular activities. So try to have that, try to, uh, uh, not that you have to be excellent, even to appreciate uh, a good piece of music. It's really an uh, enjoyable thing. Uh, a, a good theater, a good movie, a good book, all these are important. In, uh, in England, uh, in America, uh, well, my son joined American University and I was upset because they're very expensive, but we were paying about $60,000 uh, a year in, for his uh, expense. But uh, they were doing four years of undergraduate before he can do anything, either medicine or, uh, or law. Whereas in England, you can do after 12, like in India. And I was very upset with that amount of money and time wasting. But now I realize it is really a very, very important thing to have that broad based understanding of things. Um, he did all art subjects and, and really enjoyed it. And now I see uh, that other than the money, there's a lot of enjoyment in life. So I, I, I sincerely hope that all uh, postgraduate orthopedics uh, also do something other than orthopedics, enjoy it, uh, even have some basic knowledge of music, basic knowledge of uh, classical, whatever, classical dancing, even Bollywood dancing, 
uh, and uh, and think about oh this movie is made this guy was trying to uh, give this message and how he twisted and made it entertaining how it created a suspense the process of it it's, it's really enjoyable so uh, learn something different than orthopedics that's my uh, message and, and that's what i would say the biggest pleasure i get uh, nowadays uh, one is obviously teaching which i um, i do uh, i uh, might as well not do a two knee replacement and earn some money rather than do two three hours of teaching which give me a more enjoyment uh, at this stage of my life uh, but also the other thing uh, reading uh, writing uh, I'm, i'm very novice in writing but i do write little bit poetry uh and and, uh, and and that that gave me little people may not appreciate it now pakadna padta kai bar audience ko have bad bad the poet is not but uh, at least give me pleasure <laughs> <laughs> so that's what i would say to students great sir great ke uh, orthopedics ke bahar bhi ek jeevan hona chahiye zindagi honi chahiye bilkul bilkul hona chahiye and that uh, orthopedics all of you are in orthopedics so you already assured of a minimum uh, standard of life uske baad tum 10000 20000 2 lakh extra kama lo will give you like kya kar loge ek nayi aur painting le loge ek first class mein chale jaoge that that ghumne ke liye economy class it will give you slight more happiness but the greatest happiness will come if you do something different so that will give it even if you make some uh, even in orthopedics do something different uh, which will make an impression uh, in society to your friends to your family it, it, that will give you a really a, a great happiness rather than just keep on doing uh, same thing again and again and do, do do something which will make a difference uh, and that's what i think uh, you, um, if i'm doing uh, 10000 knee or hip replacement another 1000 will not make me much happy but I, if if i can make a difference to uh, even four students can i meet in the conference and they say oh sir aapne wo padhaya tha main us wahan gaya tha pass ho gaya that that is a great pleasure uh, when when some students come like that so it's good i have in england uh, maybe um, 100 uh, junior consultant who are all consultant now i've got to conferences and meet them it's great pleasure meeting them so develop something different which will give you happy rather than just keep on doing which everybody is doing Uh, something different is good kuch alag karna hai kuch apne liye karna hai ha kuch alag jaise par chuha nahi banna don't get into the rat race maybe that yeah yeah don't get ke ho raha hai uske to usne itne kama liye ya uske paas itni practice hai ya uske itne clinic there's no end to it and there is the, the happiness you get out of it uh, sometime you, in fact you may get uh, sadness out of it but happiness you get is something you do different where you can uh, make something uh, uh, different than orthopedics so i have seen that you are such a good orator matlab aapne ye ye kala kahan se aayi sir ye something you are born with ye jo bolne ki kala hai aap you can just talk about and it's not just ke matlab kuch bhi you talk a lot of sense about just keeping a thing in focus and you can talk about it and for a long time matlab ye kahan se there was a teacher jisse aapko kuch aapko ye hunar sikha aur ya aapke parents se aapko mili ya kahan se ye kala ye hunar kahan se aaya sir thank you mai ek to thank you very much i don't think i have that hunar lot of people have that hunar but uh, <coughs> there is a one incident i'll tell mulan yaad mein हम लोग वही कूल होने के चक्कर में वी यूज टू मिस लॉट ऑफ क्लासेस तो जब एग्जाम आते थे तो वी सेट ऑल इन द हॉस्टल एंड देन वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर बिकॉज पूरा सिलेबस तो हम कभी कर नहीं सकते तो वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर गेस्ट वर्क तो उसमें गेस्ट क्वेश्चन सारे ढूंढो भाई पुराने साल जो आ गए पिछले साल के उनको काट दो ये करो सो वी विल प्रिपेयर टॉपिक सो दे विल गिव मी अ टॉपिक we will give each other because hum char panch dost the ki ikatthe padhte hain we will give each other topic so that wo uh, time kam hai wo usme ek topic mein master karke sabko padha dega so we three four started like that we started teaching very early to each other ki bhai aise lekin wo jo hum ek topic padhte the usme we will get uh, almost 100% lekin ekdam topic uske bahar aaya to we have no clue 
<laughs> so that was how our exam. Sometimes the examiner was right. Okay, ye wala question itna badhiya kar hai, and then the next question you have no clue at all. <laughs> I was called few time after checking my. But uh, I think we because we wanted to uh, tell the other person. So one way, best way to learn thing is to teach. So if you start this teaching very early and teach. and imagine the person don't know anything because we 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 never we knew any nothing agar mere ko koi banda ne kehna ki bhai mera ek dost hai wo lamba lamba mere ko tu aaj wo padha de ecg padhana he knows i have got no clue about ecg so he will start from very basic ki bhaiya ek line hoti hai us line jab upar jati hai to isko st kehte hain isko p wave kehte hain isko q and that's how i will teach him something else ki bhaiya jo and this is how i teach my, my uh, students also with knee replacement karna don't think just forget anything about knee replacement just think of tumhare paas ek femur hai ek tibia hai do surfaces ko kaat ke apne naya banana hai ab tum engineer ho think of what will you make and just keep talking and i'll 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 revise your thinking and so see why why we are making implant bhai ye jo hum femur implant ko aise kyon banate hain tibia ko aise kyon bana rakha humne kyunki har ek har ek when you come to ms you you are intelligent enough if anybody i ask yaar aaj jo hai mere ko ye ghutna kaat ke upar niche kaat ke naya nee lagana hai you will have some idea without knowing what is because knowing sometimes is useless without knowing you'll say ha sir ye femur hai you might say main dono ko chop chop karke rectangle bana ke do uh, ek idhar chipka dunga ek idhar it's good yeah then i will go through what will the problem with that uh, how will you not move it and you will actually during that talk about 2 hours in, uh, of me explaining to most of my resident will come exactly what the current design is oh. if i keep telling them acha agar tu ye karega chal tune bana diya ye तो फिर क्या होगा इसमें मूवमेंट कैसे आएगी है फ्लेक्शन कैसे होगा अनिल से हाँ सर ये तो फीमर टिबिया में अड़ जाएगा तो फिर मैं क्या करूंगा तो ही विल अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ रोल बैक रोल बैक होगा तो ये मुड़ेगा सो इट इज गुड टू टीच कंप्लीटली एटलीस्ट एज्यूम यूर टीचिंग समबडी वो इज नॉट मेडिको कम्प्लीटली नो आई थिंक दैट इज हाउ एटलीस्ट आई आई टेक ए टॉपिक Uh, from that ki aaj mere ko padhana to the jo person hai that's why i told you most of our topic will be ki mujhe kuch nahi aata yeah sir from there we will start and make sure that when by the time you go to exam you're fine yeah really great uh, way of teaching ke uh, teaching uh, is the best way of learning mujhe yaad hai mujhe yaad hai sir uh, i think 7th 8th class mein the तो हमें पीरियोडिक टेबल याद करना था तो कैसे याद करते थे मेरा दोस्त आके मेरे को पीरियोडिक टेबल सुनाता था जिससे उसको याद हो जाए और फिर मुझे आगे किसी और को सुनाना पड़ता था समथिंग लाइक दैट एब्सोल्युटली व्हेन यू वांट टू टीच समबडी यू अंडरस्टैंड मोर यू आई हैव नो आई आई इन द फर्स्ट इंस्टेंस आई नेवर लाइक पोएट्री इंग्लिश पोएट्री बिकॉज़ आई नेवर नॉट आई डोंट लाइक आई नेवर अंडरस्टैंड but then uh, we we developed this and mainly it was my, uh, my wife is from different background who apni uh, convent school wagera se hai to wo angrezi mein likhti hai main hindi mein likhta hu so we translate each other wow and then when you translate you understand you don't understand when the first time and then i i try to translate one or two other poems of some great poem and then you suddenly understand acha agar ye banda ye kehna chahta tha Uh, because then you understand when you are actually uh, trying to tell it to yourself or somebody uh, what what it means so al- always if you teach somebody actually that's a very good skill and uh, and you not only you understand better you make people understand better wow so just one thing uh, you talked about teaching so uh, how has the teaching changed the medical teaching the orthopedic teaching changed from say 1978 1980s till now in 2020 we are over period of 40 years how do you think it has changed well teaching itself well obviously uh, 
the we we were in a phase where things were getting uh, technologically we were we were getting better and better so hum logon ke time tak the mainly physical examination and x rays these were the limit ct had just come mri was being introduced ultrasound was uh, people were just uh, uh, so uh, something good has happened and something bad has happened uh, something good ha- has happened that हमारे टाइम पे टीचर लोग फेंकते बहुत थे इसको ये है और तुमको मानना पड़ेगा वो आजकल फेंक नहीं सकते ना तुम एम आर आई दिखा देगा तुमको बंदा जो है वो तुमको पोस्टियर ड्रॉ में या डायल टेस्ट करके बोल रहा है इसका पोस्टियर लैटरल कॉर्नर जा चुका है तुम यू नॉट कन्विंस बट तुमको एम आर आई दिखाया गया है कि नहीं गया था एंड देन यू कम बैक एक्चुअली दिस इज अ वेरी गुड लर्निंग पॉइंट Uh, uh which i see is a reverse that you make a diagnosis uh, uh confirm the diagnosis by your investigator and then go back and see that what are the feature uh, i would have actually picked up without knowing the diagnosis because now you know the diagnosis then you can go back and see acha yaar iska to uh, pcl gaya hua postural lateral corner gaya hua uh, mri to ye bata let me examine this go back to patient and examine again because that also ek to ye ho gaya ki teacher us time were were quite arrogant in their way of uh, teaching uh, and and they will because there was no way to confirm it or confront them uh, so it was a jo unhone keh diya wo patthar ki lakeer hai nowadays uh, <clears throat> we have become wiser we tell the students look this is what i think we come to differential diagnosis Uh, and and we will confirm it and then uh, and and then we'll explain sometimes uh, every finding is not explainable a uh, lot of people when you are early days wo wo sochte hain ki bas ek cheez pakad li to wahi wahi sab kuch hona chahiye to agar canvas put hai to har toe mein clawing honi chahiye aisa zaroori nahi hai bhai fourth fifth toe mein ho sakta hai wo thoda sa clawing ho nahi dikh rahi ho Uh, there's a lot of variation human body has you have to put two and two together and investigation all together so we we become wiser with that so i think the investigation has helped with the teaching we become a bit more humble um, as a teacher uh, and because of that our respect has also gone up because student also think that okay uh, there is always a confirmatory method there is always Uh, a, a differential diagnosis i think that has uh, changed uh, but at the same time they were fantastic teacher with examination they were fantastic points that in spite of not having anything available to you uh, uh, we had such a good teacher um, if, if you were lucky and you you people are lucky that professor tuli still come and teaches you in this um, uh, app his examination we used to go to his classes in guru tegh bahadur the way he will approach the way he will uh, without even uh, there's no need for even x rays he will make a diagnosis and he will de- do the treatment and it will be in, uh, more than uh, 90% it will be the right in spite of whatever things available nowadays so uh, they, they were fantastic we lost that art of examination but uh, we also gained uh, that uh, uh, thing that uh, uh, that whatever you say is not the truth sometimes truth may be different and you have to revise your teaching and revise your finding and that humbleness has come to us uh, uh, i think but um, unfortunately with nowadays uh, and this is we keep saying now that people just want to go mri straight away or uh, straight away uh, want to make a diagnosis no still i think that art has to be learned that history taking look feel move measurement and uh, relevant investigation investigation are tool for you to help not to immediately jump to it because uh, there are lot of things the management depend on what patient telling you and what you find by putting your hand on patient not what x ray telling you or mri telling you so you need you need both so we losing the art of clinical examinations by the investigations magar yes. uh, we are moving away from eminence based medicines to evidence based medicine nahi sir maybe 
yes, <laughs> yes, yes, uh, uh, yes. So that is uh, that is also um, uh, true. Uh, that uh, evidence-based medicine is there, but uh, one of the teaching or important part of us as a teacher is also to make student aware that. Uh, how to read a literature how to uh, how to make sure that what you calling is evidence is a true evidence because as with any medicine uh, or as with any group of human we also a group of doctors have if you draw a standard deviation curve we will have a good people bad people and in between average people so uh, we are also uh, culprit to greed चाहे वो फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनी होगी चाहे वो इम्प्लांट वाले होंगे एंड वील राइट पेपर अगेंस्ट वन और अदर सो एविडेंस हैज टू बी यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज एविडेंस हाउ टू फिल्टर गुड लिटरेचर फ्रॉम अ बैड लिटरेचर एंड कीप योर माइंड ओपन दैट्स वॉट ब्यूटी ऑफ साइंस इज दैट एवरी टाइम यू डूइंग समथिंग uh question yourself question your teacher question your uh, your own belief that uh, am i doing it right uh, is there any other way to do it what are the um, current evidence so evidence based is good thing as long as you you understand the evidence and the limitation of evidence sometime there is a limitation of evidence where you need to uh, treat the patient based on something else so my my uh, rule is 80% i'll treat patient on my uh, knowledge and skill and evidence still 20% is uh, is other thing uh, what are the other things patient believe you can't the patient don't believe in you then uh, he will not get the benefit same same knee replacement if he if he's not believing in you will be a bad outcome uh, even if you've done it beautifully uh, so 20% tumko idhar udhar ke patient ki thodi psycho you are all doctors you will play with patient psychology you will do placebo you will do uh, alternative treatment also a patient ka bishwas hai bhai mere ko to all these hai theek hota hu theek hai usko na ko chalana hi hai saath mein haldi bhi khao to jaldi i have no clue what haldi does there is maybe a good evidence no evidence i have no he has a good belief in it and i know it is not something which is very risky or so i play with it yes yes aap khao and my mother in law believe in it so i'll say okay aap wo karo lekin aapko knee replacement ke baad ye exercise to karni karni hai so both work for us it may be placebo it may be a good thing i don't know but uh, so 80% is my uh, my belief my evidence my own skill but 20% still you have to see every patient what they want Uh, uh what is their belief you, you, you social cultural you you need to play that part also sir but uh, platform like conceptual orthopedics helps us understand helps the students understand ki kahan pe evidence what is the right evidence aap jaise teachers hain to fir they can you can guide them you can guide us on yes, what yes. is the current evidence and sahi evidence yes, sir we academics ho gayi ab bahut academics ho gayi we want to hear some poetry from you we devil do not let you go without hearing some poetry from you poetry to i mean badi sari likhi hai par wo mere ko page wise koi mil nahi raha ek maine abhi abhi likhi hai this is not unwritten kachi poetry hai actually do do line hai sirf do line hai abhi main usko pura karunga to jab kabhi conceptual orthopedics pe pura dikhaunga main i i was revising myself for this Uh, आज की टॉक जो थी हमारी कैलकेनियम फ्रैक्चर पे तो आई वाज थिंकिंग ऑफ ऑफ लॉट ऑफ पीपल एंड आई वाज मेनली थिंकिंग ऑफ आवर स्पाउसेस क्योंकि जब आप एमएस करते हो या एफआरसीएस यहां पे तो इज लाइक सीनियर रेजिडेंसी के बाद वाला एग्जाम है 6 ईयर सो व्हेन यू प्रिपेयरिंग मोस्ट ऑफ यू विल हैव फैमिलीज तुम्हारे बच्चे हैं वाइफ है so when you preparing almost your 6 month 7 month is gone you are so dedicated to that preparation tum apne doston ke sath padhai kar rahe ho raat ko late aa rahe ho there is lot of input they put in your family so un logon ka kafi isme yogdan rehta hai to un logon ka jo aap pe aapki aapka jo bhi aap bane hain there is a impression of them their sacrifices there 
So you should always be aware of that. So this, I was uh, looking at the, this uh, poetry is called Fibula. Fibula. Yes. So I was looking at the Fibula, ke, uh, just two line here. Fibula, ke lo, lower end, pe, you have a uh, groove of Peronius Longus and Bravis. Ha, Fibula, ke piche hote. Anji, and when we have an anatomy exam, mein Fibula, ko kahte, mm-hmm. identify karo upper end, lower end, so you can see the groove of the lower end. You can see the pencil ki and then you can see the groove. So that's how it was. So, uh, so this I dedicated. Uh, uh, the student can dedicate to their wife or uh, girlfriend. I did. I I I dedicated to this my wife. Bade saalon se chupi rahi tum apna astitya khokar. Bade saalon se chupi rahi tum apna astitya khokar. Mere piche us chote se groom mein. So she never came in front. She kept helping me from back. So, बड़े सालों से छुपी रही तुम अपना अस्तित्व खोकर मेरे पीछे उस छोटे से ग्रुप में आज जब मेरी पहचान का सवाल आया तो सबसे पहले लोगों ने पेरोनियल ग्रुप को ढूंढा वाव सो सो इट इज योर आइडेंटिफिकेशन इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ देयर कंट्रीब्यूशन दे हैव लेफ्ट दैट इंप्रेशन ऑन यू but ye bhi yaad rakhna bhai peronius wahan pe do do tendon hote hain to baby upset bhi ho sakti hai ki ye kiski baat kar rahe ho brevis ki ke longus ki don't tell uh, your wife that there are two tendon if she is medical then in fact if you tell your wife actually peronius brevis jo hai na baby is closer to you so that also way to remember brevis is very close to you longus thoda uske bahar hoti hai ये लॉन्गेस्ट कौन है लॉन्गेस्ट इज अ लेडी नेक्स्ट डोर सो सो थैंक यू योर वाइफ स्पाउस और एंड गर्लफ्रेंड और एनीबॉडी हु वाज आल्सो पुटिंग एज अ सैक्रिफाइस और नॉट सैक्रिफाइस दे आर इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इन योर डेवलपमेंट एंड योर आइडेंटिफिकेशन इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट ग्रूव दे हैव लेफ्ट ऑन यू Uh, uh, so maybe that. your wife your family yes. so they support you during your tough times yes. thank you sir maza aa gaya aaj uh, ye poetry sunke yes. aapse gap shap karke chalo ji uh, very good think, and best uh, of luck and my my message is develop some other interest uh, and uh, just two messages develop some other interest than orthopedics and second message is think of people who has uh, contributed to your uh, your not me that groove somebody has left on you so thank them for leaving that groove thank you sir we enjoyed gupshopping with you today chalo ji okay bye bye bye